Uh, so we're, we're hard at it right now. Um, you know, we've been seven days a week, and nobody's family's here, so we're up here till 11 o'clock every night, and, and just, you know, and it's fun. It's fun to see all these other guys, because nobody's going to get egos on the staff. And that's, that's a, it's fun to work with guys who don't worry about, hey, what about my recruit? What about my position? What about my accolades? You know, everybody here, we're, we're really just, you know, we're really what West Virginia's about. We're blue collar guys, you know. I was a Division II player. Uh, you know, and it's just that that's the kind of guys that, that we got here. Hall's a walk on, Coach Brown's a walk on. We're we're blue collar people. I think we fit really well here. This is a been a historically a developmental school. So you almost have to have kind of a developmental mm -hmm. uh, approach to it when you're dealing with these kids, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, you do. You're I not mean, getting the look, kids at the high state, you know, generally speaking in the past. They yeah, have yeah. And, and that's you know, and that's something where where they've done such a great job building this brand here and, and we are that don't mean we're not going to shoot for those guys. Right. You know, we're going to shoot for them. We're, it doesn't scare us off at all if they got Ohio State offer or a Notre Dame offer. We're going to go after them because sometimes those guys, there's so many kids today that it's about it's about how you've developed the players that you've had, and that's that's what we've done. Like at Troy, we we were never you know a top ten recruiting class. We we had good recruiting classes, but we developed those kids. And you know, the guy at the athletic does a great job. I don't know if you read that article where he goes back and and ranks like the 2015 class, and he re-ranks them by, gives them points by if they played, if they were all conference, if they are all American. Well, that class we recruited in Troy in 2015, we were top 20. You know, at that time, we were not even the top 100 probably, but you know, that's that's all about developing kids. You know, you, you take them in, you develop them, maybe they're a three-star, maybe they're, and we don't worry about that. We want guys that fit into what we're trying to do and, and, and from a mentality fit into what we want to do here, being selfless and being hardworking. You mentioned we played Division Two, and then of course there's a lot of resourcefulness that happens on those levels in there because you don't have the budgets that you have at bigger mm -hmm. schools or the resources or the players or that thing. So there's a lot of innovation and resourcefulness in there. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. You, you've got to, and I, I played for played for Howell Mom at Valdosta State, and there's a lot of innovation there when it came to offense because we were the first ones in that conference where everybody's like, man, they're throwing it around everywhere. So I really learned a lot about football and about offensive line play and protection, you know, playing in that system and then coaching in it for several years. But yeah, there's there's definitely you you know when you've only given so much and you gotta do something with it, you gotta figure out how to make things last a little longer and make things a little better. And it goes back to developing players. You know, like you said, you you take a kid that they say, oh man, maybe this kid's like the left tackle this year. I mean that, that kid was like two forty they said when he got here. And and Coach Joseph just does such a tremendous job and that guy has really impressed me. Uh, as I've been here about how he does things, how he goes about his business, and he doesn't want any accolades, and he doesn't care about video and all his workouts. He just, you know, he really instills that blue collar mentality, and he was a D2 player from down the street, you know, and, he, and that's that's what he does. He does a really good job on it. So the key is trying to find those kids that will work, that will fit what your philosophy is, and be coachable mm -hmm. and good teammates, and then you yeah. guys will take care of that. And record. sometimes they're four stars. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, sometimes they are long enough and fast right. enough, and, and they fit in. And, you know, sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're not guys. You know, sometimes it's guys that you just see that something in them, and, and you got to figure out how to how good they are and how good they can be. That's coaching in between. That's what we got to do is we got to get them in here, and then we got to coach them to the point where they can be as good as they can be.